Strawweight bout. Mackenzie Dern, minus 175 against Jessica Andras, sitting at plus 145. Over under two and a half rounds, plus 145 for the over, minus 175 for the under. Jessica Andras. Now, this is one where I'm like, what, is, what are we doing here? You know, we're getting Jessica Andras. Not sure what her management is, is really trying to do, but this is her fifth fight in 2023. She's on a three fight skid, and two of those skids have uh or two of those losses have come by uh submission and now she's getting the bjj wizard in mackenzie dern so i can see why mackenzie dern is the favorite jessica andraj been around for a long time got a lot of experience uh but she's on a losing streak here she's hoping to turn the turn that around who do you think takes this one yeah it's interesting with andraj because you know obviously last three fights she has not looked good at all and she looked phenomenal against Lauren Murphy, which was less than a year ago. Like, you think, how do we get that Andrade in the same year that we got the Andrade against Aaron Blanchfield and Yao Shanan and Tatiana Suarez? Like, it just hasn't been the same, same chick in there at all. And I don't know if it's age. I don't know if she, you know, she has so many fights in the UFC, taking some damage. She's fought in the best fighters in the world. And now she's starting to kind of, um, teeter off of that top high level girls and kind of going the other way and starting to fight more prospects and girls who are trying to climb up the ranks and she's starting to lose to them all. When you look at the Blanchfield fight, um, you know, somewhat close until the sub as far as strikes and stuff go, but nobody expected Blanchfield to be able to strike with her. And, um, you know, against, against Jan, she got knocked out uh, pretty badly in the first round. And then Tatiana Suarez was able to submit her as well. So you look at Mackenzie Dern, and in McKenzie, McKenzie Dern's last fight against Angela Hill, I think she kind of shocked the world with how good her striking had gotten. And, you know, she was able to hurt Angela Hill, had her stunned through some big knees and elbows, and had her wobble at one time, too, which doesn't really happen with Angela Hill, and was able to uh, find that decision when nobody finishes Angela Hill. McKenzie Dern gave it her best try, but overall had a, a damn good performance in that one. So. Makes it interesting that Dern's striking is getting better, and it's going to have to be if she wants to beat Andrade on the feet. And uh, for Andrade, if you get taken down by Dern, I imagine you are going to get submitted if Blanchfield and Suarez are submitting you. Mackenzie Dern's jiu-jitsu is crafty. It's really, really good. She's going to submit most girls that go to the ground with her. Um, and the one knock, though, I would have on Dern is the, the ability to get it to the ground has been kind of non-existent in her fights. You know, she's been lucky in some of her fights, I think, that girls will engage in the clinch. She'll kind of try to pull guard or go to the ground, and girls kind of, you know, jump down there and, and kind of follow her down, think that they're going to land some ground and pound. Next thing you know, Mackenzie Dern's choking you out. So I do think this is Mackenzie Dern here, minus 200. I don't know if I'm confident enough in a, in a women's MMA fight to, to pay that price. But Andrade, it seems like she's just taking paychecks at this point, man. I, I don't like it at all. I don't like what I've seen out of her. Um, you know, she's got to be getting towards the end. Mackenzie Dern, if she gets this win here over Andrade, she's going to be on the up and up here too. And I think that's what the UFC wants. I do think this is Mackenzie Dern. And I think she's got the chance to, to finish Andrade here as well, based on, on what we've seen in the last eight, nine months. Yeah, I'm off the Andrade bandwagon for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the I don't even know why she's taking this fight. Like, is it just, it's got to be for a paycheck. Like, this yeah. isn't. Uh, like a well thought out matchup for her. Um, and I don't think it really goes well. I think Mackenzie Dern wins. Um, and the Angela Hill fight is, uh, it looks good. If you look, go back and watch it because she's kind of like changed up her striking strategy. She's, she's not really like standing and, and striking with these girls. She's more so staying to the outside and just kind of blitzing and forcing them to either swing or uh, or back up, and then she can kind of throw them up against the cage and look for takedowns there. She was able to land three against Angela Hill, and when she got her to the ground, just beat her to to piss. Like she was beating her up bad. Uh, just one thing for me is like, where is the? She's not really finishing these top girls. Like she hasn't had a submission win since 2021, which was against uh, Nina Nunes. It was an armbar. She's super close on a lot of these uh, submission attempts, but uh, she's not able to uh, to finish them. So going in here against uh, Jessica Andrade, Jessica Andrade has been finished a good amount of times by a TKO and submission. Uh, I do think 
Mackenzie Dern should be able to find a finish here. It's not like Andrade is tough to finish. She's been finishing her last three fights. Um, and I just don't really like the momentum she's got. Like, this is her fifth fight of 2023. She might go 2023 one and four. Like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Mackenzie Dern, the improvements have looked good. I'm hoping that uh, she can keep the same strategy going into this one. You know, don't just stand and strike with Jessica Andrade because as we saw against Lauren Murphy, like it's probably just not going to go well for you. Um, but even, you know, Lauren Murphy's old as hell and, and slow. I don't think Mackenzie Dern it, it holds those types of attributes. I think she's a little bit younger and uh, a lot more athletic. And we saw in the last fight, she's got some, some pop and some, some divorce Dern in her. She, she looked a little yeah. feisty in there. So going in this one, I think Mackenzie Dern walks away with a win. And I, I think she could probably sub her. I think she gets her to the ground, maybe round two or round three, and finishes it off. Obviously, round one, uh, the submission is is super live. We've seen it in, her, in a lot of her fights. She gets the girl to the ground. She's just not able to uh, to finish it there. But in this one, I think she, she could pull it off. So Dern will be the pick for me. And uh, we can move on.